Welcome to this short video series on how I organize my life using the Notion productivity software. My name is Janosch and I am a student and web designer. I also work with TikTok influencers, I create online courses and uh, I organize everything that I do plus my personal life in Notion. In this video series I want to show you every single aspect of my organizational system, the para method that I use and how I make sure that every single piece of information that I receive, every input uh, has its place and gets organized so that I never have to worry about uh, not finding something or keeping too much stuff on my mind, uh, cluttering up my, my mental space. Uh, and so on. So these are all the things that we'll go through. I also show you how you can implement the same system for yourself. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the first section, uh, the first uh, part of this short mini series. As a short backstory on my journey with Notion, uh, I started using the tool in 2019 uh, when I was looking for a tool to put everything into one place. So I had notes in Evernote, I had Google Drive, I was looking for a project management tool like Asana or Trello but they weren't quite fitting to me and I didn't want to add another tool to my kind of productivity suite so I discovered Notion and uh, I've been using it as my main source of uh, organization ever since so for like about nine months now it's been my primary organizational tool where I organize pretty much everything in. So as I have different aspects of my life that uh, all require a lot of information and attention like uh, doing web design, also studying for a university and also doing online courses and much more stuff. I had to have one place where I can organize all this information uh, in a way where I can easily access it and where if something comes up I can just put it into the system and I always know where it is and that's what I love about Notion. And that's one thing that I want to address right away. Uh, when you're trying to use Notion or when you're thinking about implementing Notion in your own life, uh, you will definitely iterate on your system constantly or at least uh, in the beginning. You will always find ways how you can uh, make the system better, uh, tiny improvements here and there, uh, and sometimes even big changes like moving the whole setup around. This is something I did as well uh, when I first started using Notion. So I've had different setups in the last couple of uh, months and I've always changed and tweaked things here and there, but this is just normal. Um, and uh, it just shows that you're constantly improving your system and that you're getting closer to having that per perfect organizational system that fits your workflow and your needs. And that's how it is usually. So there's no perfect system for everybody. I have my system, it works for me. But as you think different, so people think differently, and if you have a different way of thinking about things, about problems, a different way of memorizing things, different way of working, you will have a other setup. So keep that in mind and now let's jump right into Notion. All right, so now I'm on my Notion homepage. And one quick thing again uh, that I have to mention is I'm from Germany, so I usually have my Notion set up in German. Uh, I translated some of the things that are important and I use the Google feature to translate the page while I'm clicking through it. But besides from that, there might be some Germans uh, here and there. So if you don't understand what I'm saying or what, what's done in, the, uh, in my Notion dashboard, then just write a comment and I'll be sure to help you out. Uh, but I will also explain the most important things. So with that out of the way, let's get right into my Notion homepage. I don't really have too much on there. I have this uh, hero image, which just shows some kind of inspiration of things that I really like to kind of motivate me and uh, so that I kind of know what I'm working for, what I, I want to achieve, what I like, what I appreciate, what I enjoy. And then I have this uh, database view. This is um, I, I've called it personal development. It's pretty much things that I want to learn about. So I always keep a list of the things that I want to uh, learn about so that I know what to do next when I'm, for example, I have time to, to learn something new. Um, this is the list that I go to and I check off these items um, to learn something new again. Now, I also include my goals, my weekly goals on this page. I have the setup as a view as well, so this is the link database. I have an extra goals page, uh, if you uh, look at it up here, 
so I usually just use this to get a quick glance at my goals to see what I'm up to this week what I've done what I haven't done so far um, um, so this helps me out as well and that's it for my homepage already uh, I don't really have that much on my homepage uh, as I said it's just a uh, quick way for me to see information at a glance I had a habit tracker before uh, that but I just never used it so I just got rid of it and now I usually just uh, organize everything through all of the other uh, pages that I have in my setup. Now let's quickly go through the other pages that I have and what they do. So um, I have the goals page as I said already so this is where I write down all my goals. Uh, I do yearly, monthly and weekly goals uh, so that I have like these bigger goals and then they have kind of smaller goals beneath them um, so that I can like step for, step by step uh, reach the bigger goals that I have. I also have the areas page which these are just my life areas and this is part of the para method as well as the projects uh, and also resources and the archive. And this is just a uh, method of organizing that I will cover and I will go into. It was uh, termed or uh, created by Tiago Forte and um, uh, yeah, I'll show you how it works uh, later in the course. I also have my notes page. This is where I just write down notes when I, for example, I'm in, the, uh, in a meeting with a client. I just open this up quickly and I write down notes. Also, if I watch a video that I find interesting and there are some nuggets in there that I want to kind of collect and keep, uh, I write down notes as well. Then resources. This is a, a big collection of things of all sorts, of websites, of videos, of tools, just everything. So this is too complex to explain right now. I'll show you later uh, once we get to it. And also archive, which is pretty much just a collection of all of the things that I don't use anymore just put into one place so if I have to get rid of something that's where it goes. Alright that's it for this video in the next video I'll go into detail on how I implemented the power method in my system um, how the different parts of my workspace work together um, to form one cohesive system so if you're interested in that please stick around uh, the next part is coming out shortly and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.